Hello, I'm Mrs. J, and welcome to my math class. Today we're going to be covering um, exponential functions. So if we look at this one, 6 to the x plus 4 equals 7 to the 9x. When you have variables in the exponent, you need to have a way to bring them down. And one way of doing that is taking the log or the natural log of both sides. So we could take the natural log of both sides. You can use the log also. It's the same exact answer and the exact steps. When we do have the log or the natural log, we can bring these down. The reason is if you have the natural log of x to a power, that power can come down in front. So you're using this rule. So we can bring the x plus 4 in front and the 9x. Now this one we need to distribute. So we'll have x, the natural log of 6, plus 4, natural log of 6. Then we need x's on both sides. We have x's on both sides, so we need to move this one over. When you bring it over, it changes its sign. I chose to move this one over because this doesn't have an x. I'll leave it there. Now these two terms both have an x, so I can factor the x out. Notice I took, I'm thinking x and I'm writing it. I took the x out. We pulled this out. Of both of them. Now to get x by itself we can divide. So for the exact value it would be 4 natural log of 6 over 9 natural log of 7 minus the natural log of 6. On these ones, Alex wants the decimal, so we'd plug that into the calculator and round it to the nearest thousandth. So to plug it in, rule of thumb, Put your, you could get away without the top one in parentheses this time, but rule of thumb, just put them in parentheses. 4, natural log of 6, divided by parentheses 9, natural log of 7, minus the natural log of 6. So we get 0.45, so that's tens, hundreds, thousands is the second 5. It will round to a 6. So this is your exact value, and this is your estimate to the thousandth position. Try another one. For class, for our exams, you need to be able to have both answers. So we have 12 negative x minus 5 equals 7 to the 5x. So again, we need to take the natural log of both sides so that we can bring those variables down. So I'm going to take the natural log. That allows me to bring these down. So I have a negative x minus 5, ln of 12. And then the other one, 5x, 
ln of 7. I, get, I need to distribute this. So we have a negative x natural log of 12 minus 5 natural log of 12 equals 5x natural log of 7. Then we're going to bring this to the other side. So we have the x's on the same side. So we have 5x natural log of 7 plus x natural log of 12. Now we can pull the x's out. When we pull the x out, we're left with 5 natural log of 7 plus the natural log of 12. Then we divide this to the other side. And that will be our exact value. To get the decimal, we have, make sure you're using the negative and not the minus, negative 5 natural log 12. And the ln button on this, the ln and the e are in the same spot. Here, right here. So negative 5 natural log of 12 divided by parenthesis 5 natural log of 7 plus the natural log of 12. Negative, going to the thousandths would be where the 7 is. And the 1 leaves it a 7, so negative 1.017. Try one more. Okay, again, we need to take the natural log so we can bring those variables down. So I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. Negative x plus 6 natural log of 9 equals 4x natural log of 4. Then we need to distribute. And we're going to bring this to the other side. Then you can factor your x out. We're going to pull the x out because we're solving for x. To pull it out, we have 4 natural log of 4. Here we just have plus natural log of 9. And then divide it. Not your exact value. Plug it into your calculator. Six natural log of nine divided by four natural log of four plus the natural log of nine. And hit enter. You do have to make sure these parentheses here you have them. Otherwise it only divides by this and then it adds this to the whole answer. 
rounding to the thousandth is where the two is. The seven makes it go to a three. So it'll be 1.703. On the test, you will need to give both answers. Solving. Oops, I'll run this one. One more exponential. Okay. This one actually is a little bit simpler. So if we have 15 to the 3x equals 8, just like we did above, you need to take the natural log of both sides. Now the thing that's nicer about this one is it only has one x. So we bring our 3x down. We're trying to solve for x, so we want to divide by the 3 natural log 15. x equals the natural log of 8 over 3 natural log of 15. So this would be the exact value. And for the answer, the natural log of 8 divided by 3 natural log 15 equals rounding to the hundredth that's where the first five is the second five will make it round up so 0.26 try another one Now the reason you know you need to do this instead of uh, writing them as the same base is 8 and 12 cannot be written as the same base. So that's when you go to the, the natural log or, or the log, either one. Then we can bring the x minus 9 down. Now you could distribute the natural log first, or you can just divide it. And then you just add the nine to the other side. And there you go. That would be the exact value, and then plugging it into our calculator, the natural log of 12 divided by natural log of 8 plus 9. 10 point rounding to the hundredth, 1, 9. So this is your estimate, this is your exact value. You need both of them for the exam. Try one more. Negative 2x equals 2. Now this one doesn't have an exponent, which is fine. So we take the natural log of both sides. And then we can bring this down in front. Um, it's only one term, so we can just divide negative 2 natural log of 11 because we only want to leave the x, so we divide it by everything else.
that would be your exact value. And then plugging it in, natural log of 2 divided by, and then in parentheses, negative 2 natural log of, where did I get x? That should be an 11. I don't know how I... Those are 11s. Negative, rounding to the hundredth, negative 0.14. So these are 11s.